Hi mga garden, so this is Hardinerang Nanay once again. Welcome to our home, our garden. We believe that all plants grow with love. So for today, I'm going to uh, feature the lipstick plant. How I revive it, my plant, because it is dying, dying, dying. <laughs> yes, and I'm going to show you how I revive it. What is the solution that I made? So here is the video on how I revive my lipstick plant. Okay, and let's see. So I have here a dying <laughs> lipstick plant. I don't want this to die actually. So I am very hopeful that we can revive this. So the first thing that we need to do is to uh, change the soil. So I have here some composted leaves, some alnustri, uh, alnustri composted leaves, and then some black soil with some pumice. And then also we are going to add some um, composted cow manure. So this one, I think it will, be, it will be a good start for this plant. And I can, or I found some earthworm here so that would be good <laughs> it will help us to you know have a healthy plant later okay so let us just transplant this one see the soil is not good because i don't know what happened to this one of course our soil depletes so i did not change the soil since i got this plant Oh my goodness, what happened to this? So it has more roots actually than the soil. So it really needs uh, a change of the soil. So we just plant this one, simple as that. And then uh, we pray that this will be fine. This will uh, have uh, flowers again. Oh, see, the stems are even dry. Hey, oh my goodness, what did I do with this? So there we go. We just have to cut some of the, you know, the leaves, actually. Or the stems, I mean. So, so that there will be, uh, there will be a new growth of leaves, alright? We just have to wait. If it takes uh, months for us to see the results, well and good. So there we go. So I just cut the stems over there so that um, we can uh, see a new offshoots of stems and leaves. Here we go. Here is our plant now. So it has a new stem and new leaves. And it has flowers. Oh, see? That is why it is called the lipstick plant because it resembles the lipstick. Actually, that is not the flower yet. That is the bud. Okay. So, it's so beautiful. I'm so happy. This is alive again. So, what are the do's and don'ts? So, first thing is that um, be consistent in your watering. I had not been consistent before in my watering of my lipstick plant because... I don't know what to do. <laughs> I don't know if it's overwatered or I don't know if it is underwatered. Sometimes it's the leaves are wilting, you know, they are the stems are dry, they're dying. So I don't know what to do. I just uh, leave it there. I did not water <laughs> for how many weeks? <laughs> for how many weeks? I just depend on the, you know, <laughs> dew. <laughs> and not not really how many weeks that I did not water. It's just that uh, I am not being consistent in my watering. Sometimes I overwater it, sometimes I underwater it. So the lesson that I learned is that I should do water it once a week during the summer. Once a week is better. And then during the rainy season, there is the high uh, humidity. I should water it like um, every two weeks or every three weeks. Okay. And then also sunlight exposure. There was a time that I exposed it full sun. So, of course, it did not work. So, uh, lipstick plant uh, thrive well in not in the full sun, not in the uh, too much shade. It should be 
in the filtered light. Okay, so they are now in the greenhouse <laughs> um, receiving, you know, morning sun. Okay, but it's still a filtered light. Okay, uh, morning sun. Because you know what? Um, it will not flower with uh, inadequate light. So, morning sun in a filtered light. That makes sense. Okay, and then um, what else? The soil, the soil, the soil, the soil. I did not change the soil since I bought it. Okay, uh, sometimes we have to change it because, you know, the soil depletes. All right. So, I change it because I don't know how long did it stay there in the old soil. And then I bought it and then I just leave it there. <laughs> did not change it. So, as you can see in the video, I changed the soil into uh, well draining and uh, with um, organic matter like that with cow manure like that and then that's it it's alive it has new growth it has no leaves <laughs> oh my goodness this lipstick plant is so beautiful one of the um beautiful plants that i've seen in my whole life <laughs> i like the flowers <laughs> and then also some people are struggling in you know in taking care of this one takes so long to have that uh, flower but then the secret is that um, morning, 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 morning sun would be fine to have flowers like um, from sunset, uh, from sunset, from sunrise to uh, midday. But then under still the filtered light. Okay, so what else? What else? Fertilize. Okay, fertilize but not over okay too much will kill uh, this plant all of the plants actually don't over fertilize it because actually it will uh, stunt the growth actually so that's it so this plant actually mm, is very beautiful when they are hanging so uh, it's preferable that you uh, plant them in hanging pots like those so another thing is that Mm, yes, yes. Another thing is that um, if you want to add some pumice, twenty percent of pumice or thirty percent of pumice in your soil mix, that would be better, so that it will, uh, you know, it will uh, prevent root rot because this is the problem of this plant, this lipstick plant, root rot, like that fungi, like that. And then also you might want to use the uh, Starkle G as a soil mix in your. Mm, yeah yeah <laughs> in your soil mix uh, to prevent some mealy bugs like those and then also a neem oil for uh, root bo booster a uh, root booster growth booster <laughs> um neem oil as a soil drench and then spray sometimes and then also be careful when you are using the neem oil because it might burn your plant so the best thing to do is that water your lipstick plant first in the morning or just before you spray with neem oil or water it with neem oil and then spray or use neem oil uh, after sunset so that it will not burn your plant okay or in the evening like that so and then the formulation for the neem oil is that we have the concentrated neem oils just like the parker's neem oil there's the description below on uh, where to buy it on shopee and the the formulation would be 10 ml um, neem oil to uh, one liter of water or um, yeah <laughs> or what else or you can add some few, uh, one drop of uh, dishwashing liquid or the agricultural uh, soap soap <laughs> and and then that's it so that's it mga kaden. Thank you for watching HNTV Baguio. Hope you like the video and see you in the next video. Like, comment, and subscribe and click the notification bell for more home gardening tips and vlogs from Harden Ereg Nanay. Thank you. Tianog. Tianog. Kabasan mo.